Good morning, Zoo family. Welcome to today's video. I'm away at school, as you know, and uh, we have not been filming uh, every day. We just, we can't. Mom is uh, sometimes in just sleep deprivation mode, quite honestly. God bless her and her and her strength and determination to support me. Um, and then I am focusing on school, so that makes it really hard for us to do meaningful vlogs. And that's what we want to give you, meaningful vlogs that continue to tell the narrative of our life. And sometimes that narrative just is sitting still doing one single, literally one single thing, and we can't tell you that same story every day. So, we are still going to vlog today though, because some interesting things are happening. Um, I am about to wrap up two solid weeks of seminars. My mind is on overload, but I feel so sharpened at the same time and then mommy is going to go to the eye doctor today there is a a an eye doctor appointment she will tell you about and then uh, and then she'll vlog a little bit so that you can see what that's like just you know a little not a lot I, I think she she might be limited on what she can video well we'll have to see how that turns out it's we're kind of going into it blind I am going to hand you off to Melanie for now while I go to class and we'll see a little bit later hey zoo family welcome to today's video we are at the eye doctor with Caleb actually I'd take all the kids out of school early and we are gonna go check this kid's eyes out he's been having some eye strain and some uh, inability to focus on some of the words when he reads so we're gonna get his eyes checked out today so Caleb just did the little puff of air thing and I don't think he liked it a lot I started wearing contacts when I was in the sixth grade so um, Do I have maybe a little young for contacts um, for him, but uh, definitely uh, could be a glasses thing. Do I have some? We don't need glasses. No. The eye thing. Contacts? No, you don't have contacts. Mommy has contacts. When are you allowed to get some? So what did they make you do, Marty? I put my chin on something, grabbed it, and then I saw a picture. Everything was blurry. Oh, yeah? And then it got even more blurry the more I stared at it, uh -huh. and then shrink back down. Then more blurry, and then shrink back down, and then I went to the, um, the puff of air. I don't know, but there are three machines. Maybe, yeah. maybe I only tried two. I don't know. Okay, so the doctor came in, and we did the exam, and Caleb is going to need glasses. What do you think? Are you upset about it, or are you cool, cool that? I'm just upset about my eyes having constantly blank. Yeah, so we're gonna go look at the glasses for him. These are kind of cool. The red one? Okay, try those on. Let me see. Hey, those look better. I think those are probably cool. Are those the ones you like the best? Wait, are those cool? No, they're not girl glasses. Those are boy glasses. Okay. Those are kind of cool. Okay, let me take a picture of this for daddy. Put it for my god. Okay. No. How do you like them on your face? These and the other red ones. Yep. The right ones? Okay. Not because they're cold because you, if you like them, then that's cool. Listen, let me tell you this. I got picked a pair of glasses out when I was in the third grade. So, right. as as babies, basically the same age as Kate as Logan. And I hated them. I didn't like them. I got made fun of, and I never wore them. And my eyes got worse. So, I want to make sure that you like your glasses. Because if you like them, then you'll wear them. Okay, let me see them on you again. Under principles. Yeah, they can look cool with them. So we're heading home. Caleb got really strong dilation drops, so um, we may not be able to do much of anything. I think we're just gonna head home and just chill and relax. Um, but yes, he did need glasses just for reading. Um, so he'll have those within the next two weeks. And he really, he's kind of really excited about it. But how was your first appointment at the eye doctor? I did not like it. You didn't like it? It was kind of rough. The eye drops that they put in feel like sand in your eye. So those were so not fun, but uh, we're gonna head home and just chill and relax for the rest of the night.
Well, Zoo family, after my final morning class, I jumped on a Southwest flight back to Orlando to see my family. I'm getting deja vu because this is the second time I've been at the airport in this exact spot saying, I'm back, but this time I'm here for good. I'm not having to fly back to school or anything. I'm jumping on a tram now, getting a lift. I came home early. I was able to get on an earlier flight, thank God, and I'm going to surprise the kids because they're not expecting me for many more hours. Uh, I'll be home from your perspective in literally a split second. I'm home. Who's here at the door for me? Hi. Hello, little muffin. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. Oh, okay, we're gonna trade baby for camera. Oh my goodness, I missed you so much. Oh my gosh, I missed her so much. The house does look bare without trees. That's not as crazy. The kids don't know I'm here. Hi, kid. She's so big. I know. She's so big. She was in the middle of eating. Oh, did I disrupt your? Did I disrupt your? Food? No, Timmy did. <laughs> Look at you, big girl. Say, I've met a friend today. You met a friend. You met your new friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Miss Bethany's baby, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is Caleb awake? Yeah. I'll They're all awake. I mean, I'll go surprise him first. Yeah. Hey. Not yet! Where are you hiding? Oh. Where are you hiding? I no, he literally just got home. I really just walked through the door. What? I, I got an early flight coming home. Well, I wouldn't have been home till. Wait, how, wait, how did you get night. home from the airport? I got a lift. I took a lift. He got like a cab. Mm -hmm. Come here. Listen, you cannot be yelling. Don't yell, okay? Is that all? I don't know. Is that all? I don't know. Hey Katie, hey, I need to talk to you, but you can't, you can't be yelling, okay? Okay, come here. Don't yell. This little baby had a hard day at school. Hi, buddy. He had a hard day. He had a, a day so rough he's in pajamas already. Yo. It's okay. Hey, mm -hmm. we have a we have a I'm fun day back. tomorrow planned. That's what I'm it means. We're going back to Magic Kingdom. Can we go on Star Wars? Magic Kingdom. I didn't say anything about Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. How do you know we're going, going to Disney going, at all? How, how does anybody know we're going to Disney? This is uh, I didn't tell him. Yep, he's going back. I'm just teasing. <laughs> Say, Mom, cut it out. No, I'm not going back. I'm here now. Yes. Okay, it's we can stop being so quiet. Caleb knows I'm here too. And my luggage is still outside. I'll get it. At times, the last two weeks have been stressful for us, but Mom was so committed to making the most of it. She made a lot of memories with the kids, found out just how much Logan and Katie are her puzzle buddies, and got to foster a lot of togetherness. We hope you enjoyed this series, and we'll see you soon.